I've decided that I'm going to try to make a carbonator. I've watched a lot of videos online and I'm going to make my own <clears throat> basically like a soda stream. So the first thing is you have to buy all the parts. The very first part, the most expensive part is the CO2 tank. I bought a five pound CO2 tank. I bought a regulator that regulates the pressure down to a safe pressure. Came with a gasket. I bought a, it's called a ball lock, Pepsi ball lock. I bought a valve that goes to uh, 5 eighths, or 5 sixteenths, I'm sorry. I bought a hose. couple of hose clamps. This is where the other end of the hose will go. I bought a bag in the box syrup to use for my syrup. Bought a bag in the box coat connector. This right here is a carbonator cap and you use it with a two liter bottle. You just add your water in your two liter bottle. And carbonate it. I like the soda stream. And I've also purchased a bottle of coffee syrup, I guess you could say. I emptied it out and washed the bottle out. And it works perfectly with a one ounce pump, one ounce syrup pump, which is where I'm going to put my syrup instead of having the big box laying on the counter I'll have just a bottle so now I'm going to put it together all right in this part of the video I'm going to connect the bag in the box connector and you can buy these here in my town at Sam's Club this is where I bought it and I bought I purchased this online you should be able to just connect it Take my sir bottle. And fill it with sir. Now I'm just going to grab a cup and prime the pump. Alright. Alright, now that I'm done with that, I'm going to move that out of the way. And I'm going to start assembling the regulator. So. I'm going to take the gasket that they gave to me.
I don't know. The guy I bought this from told me not to tighten it too much and not to put any Teflon tape or anything on it. Alright, so now I'm going to grab the hose that I bought. And I brought this from a beer supply place. It's just 5 16 hose. And I'm going to place it on the bottom part of the regulator. Take the hose clamp. Take the other end and connect it to the ball lock. Make sure I don't have any kinks in it. I'll put the clamp on first. Now we'll fill up the uh, two liter bottle with water and we'll test it out. All right, now that I've filled up the two liter bottle with cold water out of the refrigerator, you only want to fill it up to about here. And start screwing the cap a little bit. And you want to squeeze out all the oxygen in the bottle. And tighten it down. <clears throat> now, you want to take your tank, make sure this is closed here, and turn it on here. And I've already done this earlier, or you would have been able to see it. I was testing it to make sure I didn't have any leaks in the line. Whenever you do connect all this, you want to spray it with soap water at all the places that it connects to make sure there's no leaks, which I didn't have any leaks. But this shot up showing that this five pound tank is full of CO2. And here I have an adjustment screw so I can adjust the pressure. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. The pressure up and down to where I want it. And you can only do that when you open this. So I'm going to open this. So now it shows that we're at 40. PSI, and I'm using I'm using about 45 right now because I enjoy my face. So now, all we have to do is attach this ball lock to this, and it will immediately fill CO2. And that's the scary part. Now, grab extra line and hold the bottle. And shake it up. And it's taking CO2 
and agitating the water and the CO2 to mix. And this thing is like super tight. Let's mix in the CO2 in there. Let's do this for a few minutes. And eventually the bubbles will stop. Stop it there. And then you take it and turn this off here. And then you take this cap, cap off here. Alright. And now with our bottle of syrup. I've already done it in this cup. I've got to play around with the syrup. But if you do six pumps in this cup of syrup and you take your CO2 as you can see it's turned into carbonated water put this back in your fridge for three to four days and it'll stay carbonated and there's your coke